Thing. I'm going back to my cell. Stop right there, Chit Sang. We can't blow our cover. Uncle! Where's my uncle? He's gone. He busted himself out. I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. That is a thank you. Who are you? You don't remember her? You will soon. Trust me. What? Happening to me? Think back. Think back to your last raid on the Southern Water Tribe. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I don't know. Don't lie! You look her in the eye and you tell me you don't remember what you did. It's not him. Oh. He's not the man. What? What do you mean he's not? He's the leader of the Southern Raiders. He has to be the guy. Uh, if you're uh, not the man we're looking for, who is? You must be looking for Yan Ra. He retired four years ago. Do it! That's it? Your father raised a coward. Next time you get in my way, I promise. I won't hold back. It can't be! the warden.
The mission is off. I'm ordering you to stop. Oh! If you keep attacking, I won't pay you. Oh! All right, I'll pay you double to stop. What's the matter? Afraid I'll redirect it? Oh, I'll show you lightning! head directly into the eye of the storm. Why didn't you tell me about your dad's crazy plan sooner? I didn't think I had to. I assumed you were still gonna fight him before the comet. No one told me you decided to wait. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Aang, you don't have to do this alone. Yeah, if we all fight the Fire Lord together, we got a shot at taking him down. All right, Team Avatar is back. Air, water. Sword. Fighting the Fire Lord is going to be the hardest thing we've ever done together. But I wouldn't want to do it any other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Get over here, Zuko. Being part of the group also means being part of group hugs. you guys flying around down there, so I just thought I'd wait for you here. I know you must be surprised to see me here. Not really, since you followed us all over the world. Right. Well, uh, anyway, what I wanted to tell you about is that I've changed. And I, uh, I'm good now, and, well, I think I should join your group. Oh, and I can teach firebending to you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. Why would I want that? I saw it and I thought it was pretty. Don't girls like stuff like this? <sighs> Maybe stupid girls. Forget it! No one can make tea like Uncle, but hopefully I learned a thing or two. Would you like to hear Uncle's favorite tea joke? Sure, I like jokes. Bring it. Okay, well, I can't remember how it starts, but the punchline is, leave me alone. I'm bushed. Well, it's funnier what Uncle tells me. You were unconscious. Azula did this to you. It was a surprise attack. Somehow, that's not so surprising. I hope I made it the way you like it. Mm, good. That was very... Mm, bracing. 
I thought since it's so hot. Here. Thanks. This is really refreshing. <clears throat> when my dad goes, will you stay? No. I need to move on. Here. I want you to have this. Read the inscription. Made in Earth Kingdom. The other one. Never give up without a fight. I'm bored. I know. I'm hungry. So what? So, find me some food. Sure. Hey, watch it! That food was for my cranky girlfriend! What are you doing? Stop talking to my girlfriend! You need some help with that? May, you're okay. They let you out of prison? My uncle pulled some strings. And it doesn't hurt when the new Fire Lord is your boyfriend. So does this mean you don't hate me anymore? I think it means I actually kind of like you. But don't ever break up with me again. So... How do you like the city so far? It's okay. What do you like to do for fun? Nothing. Excuse me, sir. Would you and your girlfriend care for dessert? She is not my girlfriend! You have quite an appetite for a girl. Um, thanks? So, Lee, where were you and your uncle living before you came here? Um, well, we've been traveling around for a long time. Oh, why were you traveling so much? We were, uh, part of this traveling circus. Really? What did you do? Wait, let me guess. You juggled. Yes, I juggled. I've always wanted to learn how to juggle. Can you show me something? Huh? Oh. Whoa! I haven't practiced for a while. It's all right. We could turn back now. We've already learned more about fire than we'd hoped. No, we're seeing this through to the end. We're gonna meet these masters and find out what's so great about them. What if they judge us and attack us? Well, we're the fire prince and the avatar. I think we could take these guys in a fight, whoever they are. Pretty clouds. Yeah, fluffy. What? What? Oh, I didn't say anything. You know, a friend of mine actually designed these war balloons. No kidding. Yep. A balloon, but for war. If there's one thing my dad's good at, it's war. Yeah, it seems to run in the family. Hey, hold on, not everyone in my family is like that. I know, I know, you've changed. I met my uncle. He was more of a father to me. And I really let him down. I think your uncle would be proud of you. Leaving your home to come help us? That's hard. It wasn't that hard. Really? You didn't leave behind anyone you cared about? Well, I did have a girlfriend. May. That gloomy girl who sighs a lot? Yeah. Everyone in the Fire Nation thinks I'm a traitor. I couldn't drag her into it. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Wait! It's a celestial calendar. Just like the Fire Sages have in their temples. I bet that sunstone opens the door. 
but only when sunlight hits it at just the right angle. On the solstice. Monkey feathers! The solstice again? We can't wait here that long. No, we can't. But we might be able to speed time up. Let's see if we can outsmart the sunstone. Nothing's happening. Come on. No, Zuko. I don't care what everyone else says about you. You're pretty smart. I'm so excited for you to see the Firelight Fountain. The lamps make the water sparkle and reflect in the pool in the most beautiful way. I can't believe it. They aren't lit. Close your eyes and don't peek. I brought you something. It's a coupon for a free cup of tea. Lee, this is so sweet. Don't thank me, it was my uncle's idea. He thinks you're our most valuable customer. Your uncle is a good teacher. I have something for you too. Now it's your turn to close your eyes. What's wrong? It's complicated. I have to go. What's that smell? It's juke. I'm sure you wouldn't like it. Actually, it smells delicious. I'd love a bull, Uncle. Now that your fever is gone, you seem different somehow. It's a new day. We've got a new apartment, new furniture, and today's the grand opening of your new tea shop. Things are looking up, Uncle. I know you're nervous, but remember, firebending in and of itself is not something to fear. <sighs> okay, not something to fear. But if you don't respect it, It'll chew you up and spit you out like an angry Komodo rhino. <laughs> now, show me what you've got. Any amount of fire you can make. <gasps> Maybe I need a little more instruction. Perhaps a demonstration? Good idea. You might want to take a couple steps back. What was that? That was the worst fire bending I've ever seen. I thought it was nice. Ugh. Ugh. Why is this happening? Maybe it's the altitude. Yeah, could be. Keep in mind, these are dual swords, two halves of a single weapon. Don't think of them as separate, because they're not. They're just two different parts of the same whole. With this technique the dragon showed us, Zuko and I will be unstoppable. Yeah, that's a great dance you two learned there. 
It's not a dance. It's a firebending form. We'll just tap dance our way to victory over the Fire Lord. It's a sacred form that happens to be thousands of years old. Oh, yeah? What's your little form called? The Dancing Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> There's one technique you need to know before facing my father. How to redirect lightning. If you let the energy in your own body flow, the lightning will follow it. You turn your opponent's energy against them. That's like waterbending. Exactly. My uncle invented this technique himself by studying waterbenders. So, have you ever redirected lightning before? Once. Against my father. What did it feel like? Exhilarating. But terrifying. You feel so powerful holding that much energy in your body. But you know if you make the wrong move, it's over. <laughs> well, not over, over. I mean, there's always Katara and a little spirit water action, am I right? Actually, I used it all up after Azula shot you. Oh. You'll have to take the Fire Lord's life before he takes yours. Yeah. I'll just do that. Hello. Zuko here. Uh, but I guess you probably already know me, sort of. Uh, so, the thing is, I have a lot of firebending experience, and I'm considered to be pretty good at it. Well, you've seen me, you know, when I was attacking you. Uh, yeah, I guess I should apologize for that. But, but anyway, I'm good now. I mean, I thought I was good before, but now I realize I was bad. But anyway... I think it's time I joined your group and taught the Avatar firebending. Well, what's your answer? Yeah, that's what I'd say too. How am I supposed to convince these people I'm on their side? Hey there, fellow guard. How goes it? Zuko? Shh. Listen, I asked around the lounge. There are no Water Tribe prisoners. I'm afraid your father's not here. What? Are you sure? Did you double check? Yeah, I'm sure. No. No! I'm really sorry, Sokka. So we came all this way for nothing? I failed. Again. Uh, what would Uncle say? Sometimes clouds have two sides a dark and light, and a silver lining in between. It's like a silver sandwich. So, when life seems hard, take a bite out of the silver sandwich. Maybe we haven't failed after all. That's a spirit. I can't believe that worked. I didn't even know what I was saying. No, what you said made no sense at all. But look, it's Suki. Prisoners, back in your cells. Jeez, everyone's getting so upset about their characters. Even you seem more down than usual, and that's saying something. You don't get it. It's different for you. You get a muscly version of yourself taking down ten bad guys at once and making sassy remarks. Yeah, that's pretty great. But for me, it takes all the mistakes I've made in my life and shoves them back in my face. My uncle, he's always been on my side, even when things were bad. He was there for me. He taught me so much. And how do I repay him? With a knife in his back. It's my greatest regret. And I may never get to redeem myself. You have redeemed yourself to your uncle. You don't realize it, but you already have. How do you know? Because I once had a long conversation with the guy, and all he would talk about was you. Really? Yeah, and it was kind of annoying. Oh, sorry. But it was also very sweet. All your uncle wanted was for you to find your own path and see the light. Now you're here with us. He'd be proud. Ow! What was that for? That's how I show affection. Your Zuko costume's pretty good, but your scar's on the wrong side. The scar's not on the wrong side! For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me, to accept me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. You, my father, 
who banished me just for talking out of turn. My father, who challenged me, a 13-year-old boy, to an Agni Kai. How can you possibly justify a duel with a child? It was to teach you respect. It was cruel, and it was wrong. Then you've learned nothing. No, I've learned everything, and I've had to learn it on my own. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. And somehow, the war was our way of sharing our greatness with the rest of the world. What an amazing lie that was. The people of the world are terrified by the Fire Nation. They don't see our greatness. They hate us, and we deserve it. We've created an era of fear in the world. And if we don't want the world to destroy itself, we need to replace it with an era of peace and kindness. <laughs> Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes, he has. <laughs> uncle, I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. But I want you to know, I am so, so sorry, Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I... How can you forgive me so easily? I thought you would be furious with me. I was never angry with you. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. I did lose my way. But you found it again. And you did it by yourself. And I am so happy you found your way here. It wasn't that hard, Uncle. You have a pretty strong scent. Katara! Are you okay? I'm doing fine. Zuko told me what you did. Or what you didn't do, I guess. I'm proud of you. I wanted to do it. I wanted to take out all my anger at him, but I couldn't. I don't know if it's because I'm too weak to do it, or if it's because I'm strong enough not to. You did the right thing. Forgiveness is the first step you have to take to begin healing. But I didn't forgive him. I'll never forgive him. But I am ready to forgive you. You were right about what Katara needed. Violence wasn't the answer. It never is. Then I have a question for you. What are you gonna do when you face my father? I can't believe a year ago my purpose in life was hunting you down. And now... And now we're friends. Yeah. We are friends. I can't believe a year ago I was still frozen in a block of ice. The world's so different now. And it's gonna be even more different. We'll rebuild it together. Today, this war is finally over. I promised my uncle that I would restore the honor of the Fire Nation, and I will. The road ahead of us is challenging. A hundred years of fighting has left the world scarred and divided. But with the Avatar's help, we can get it back on the right path and begin a new era of love and peace.